Don't spoil all my lines. There is no other artist quite like Hieronymus Bosch. Whilst da Vinci was finishing the Mona Lisa and Michelangelo was decorating the Sistine Chapel, this Dutch painter was conjuring up nightmarish hellscapes full of grotesque and nonsensical creatures. But why did this artist create such disturbing paintings? Are they the product of a lively imagination or are they the result of a troubled mind afflicted by intense and frightening hallucinations? Let's investigate the paintings of Hieronymus Bosch and get a glimpse of the artist behind his strange and unsettling work. Very little is known about the life of Hieronymus Bosch. Even his portrait, which you can see now, was made 30 years after his death. We do know that he was born sometime during the mid-1400s and probably spent most of his life in the Dutch town of Setochenbos. He grew up in a time of deep religious anxiety. In late medieval Christianity, ideas about sin, death and the devil were becoming more sophisticated, and descriptions of hell, like in Dante's Inferno, were becoming more vivid. There was a genuine fear that demonic forces lived amongst the population, a fear that led to the first European witch hunts, something that would only increase in the coming centuries. This was the spiritual environment that Hieronymus Bosch emerged from, one where devotion and fear were intertwined. It is clear to have affected him deeply, as a preoccupation with sin and punishment pervade his work. Let's start with his most well-known painting, The Garden of Earthly Delights. It's a triptych, with three panels depicting three unusual scenes. The first, on the left here, is based on the biblical story of Adam and Eve. Set in the Garden of Eden, we can see familiar animals like elephants and giraffes, but just below them is a freakish bipedal dog creature. Over here, a frog-mouthed bird eats a toad, and emerging out of this pool are hideous multi-headed reptiles. Even in paradise, there is already a sense of discord, anticipating the horrors that lie ahead. The middle panel is a non-biblical scene featuring hundreds of naked people frolicking in a lush garden. Strange organic structures dominate the background, giving an otherworldly feel to it. The level of detail is astonishing, but highlights include people crawling into this giant egg, a multi-legged dancing owl, and finally, a cute cat-like unicorn. The inhabitants of this panel seem to be indulging in acts of lust and gluttony, two of the seven deadly sins. The last panel is a disturbing picture of hell, with all kinds of eccentric and horrific punishments. At the bottom, we have a pig dressed up in a nun's habit. It's attempting to get someone to sign a pact with the devil. This bird demon consumes its helpless victims and then defecates them into the cesspool below. Over here, we have a demonic choir master leading a dirge, crucifying a man on a giant lyre. It also appears to be tattooing music onto someone's backside. Some have actually put this to music, and it sounds a bit like this. Dominating the center, we have the so-called tree man, named after his stumpy legs. Some believe that this face is a self-portrait of the artist. There are so many interpretations to this piece at large, and all the little scenes have their own theological messages. You could spend hours deciphering even just one of them, but there's an idea that most people do agree upon. It's a warning against lust and the pursuit of physical pleasure. The fear of sin, death and punishment are the subjects of many of Bosch's paintings. This includes The Last Judgment, another triptych where he illustrates the apocalyptic scenes from the book of Revelation. There are lots of non-biblical elements to this one, like small gnomes and a giant human-bird hybrid, but believe it or not, it's actually not too far off the source material. As we've seen from another video of mine, the original biblical texts include giant human-headed locusts with scorpion stingers. I guess Bosch is along the right lines. Painting after painting, Bosch conjures up horrific scenes, each more nonsensical than the last. A trademark of his artwork are the freakish creatures, which can be found in many of his surviving sketches, one of which includes the tree man seen from earlier. But where on earth did Hieronymus Bosch get his inspiration from? There are many theories, but a popular one claims that he was suffering from intense and frightening hallucinations, an idea which we can explore through this next piece. Many of Bosch's paintings focus on St. Anthony, 
He was a hermit monk that lived in the Egyptian right. desert so during the 4th century. Painting cursed shit. Alright, got it. Uh, Rusty Spoon, no Reddit links. Thank you. Hey.